Unvaccinated people are welcome to attend. Since the COVID-19 vaccine deployment began a year ago, international travel has been much easier. But many countries are only reopening their borders to people who can verify they've been properly vaccinated against the coronavirus, and in some cases boosted as well. Fortunately for the unvaccinated, there are still a few intriguing spots to visit in 2022 that do not require extended quarantine periods. Dominican Republic is a country in the Caribbean. Visitors to the Dominican Republic do not need to show proof of vaccination or a negative test. All travelers entering and exiting the country, however, will be required to fill out a free electronic entrance and exit form that incorporates the traveler's health affidavit, customs declaration, and international embarkation, disembarkation forms. Mexico without proof of vaccination, a negative test result, or quarantine restrictions, Mexico continues to accept travelers. Enhanced health screening, such as temperature checks and questionnaires, may be required upon arrival at the airport and at the resort. Portugal unvaccinated passengers who have a negative RT-PCR test, or comparable NAAT test, within 72 hours of boarding their flight or a negative laboratorial rapid antigen test within 24 hours of departure can visit Portugal this winter. A vaccine certificate or test is not required for children under the age of 12. Visitors must also fill out a passenger locator form to produce a QR code that must be shown to airline workers. Croatia travelers who do not have proof of vaccination but have a negative viral test result, such as a PCR test that is less than 72 hours old or a rapid antigen test that is less than 48 hours old, can visit Croatia. Visitors must also fill out the Enter Croatia web form and upload their documents and information before arriving in Croatia. The Bahamas are a group of islands off the coast unvaccinated visitors to the Bahamas, aged 12 and up, must have a negative COVID-19 RT-PCR test taken no more than three days before to their arrival date. Travelers must also apply for a Bahamas Travel Health Visa at travel.gov.bs and enroll in COVID-19 health insurance, which will cover them for the duration of their visit. The cost is calculated based on the length of stay and is included in the visa application. Finally, unvaccinated visitors traveling within the Bahamas from New Providence, Nassau, Paradise Island, Grand Bahama Island, Freeport, Eleuthera, or Anagua must obtain a negative COVID-19 RT-PCR test no more than three days prior to their date of travel and present it to the airline or vessel operator. Egypt All travelers flying to Egypt must have a negative PCR test result within 72 hours of their flight's departure time. The United States, on the other hand, due to the extensive trip and transit time from these airports, Travelers flying from North America will have a 96-hour testing window, according to the Egyptian embassy. Travelers must show a QR code on paper copies of their test findings. Children under the age of 6 are not required to participate. Turkey visitors to Turkey aged 12 and up will need to produce a negative PCR test taken within 72 hours of departure or present an approved COVID-19 recovery certificate if they do not have proof of vaccination. At the airport, passengers are subjected to random testing and must complete a Turkey entry form at least 72 hours prior to departure. Emirates of the United Arab Emirates All passengers flying from the United States to the United Arab Emirates must have a COVID-19 PCR test result that is negative within 72 hours of their flight departure. According to the United States, 
Passengers arriving in Abu Dhabi by flight will need a negative test result obtained within 48 hours of their departure. In the United Arab Emirates, there are a number of embassies and consulates. Cyprus in 2022, the Mediterranean island of Cyprus is a great alternative for unvaccinated travelers. Individuals who have not been immunized must show documentation of a negative PCR test within 72 hours of departure or an antigen test within 24 hours of departure. Visitors aged 12 and up will be subjected to a second PCR test upon arrival at the airport and will be kept in isolation until the test results are negative. It normally takes a few hours and costs around $20 to complete. Greece travelers above the age of 5 who are visiting Greece from the United States must produce documentation of a negative PCR test performed no more than 72 hours before to arrival or a fast antigen test performed within 24 hours of travel. Prior to departure, visitors must fill out a passenger locator form, and upon arrival in Greece, they may be subjected to extra COVID-19 tests.